In a country where the dogma of popular sovereignty ostensibly reigns, censorship is not merely dangerous, but monstrously absurd. If each individual is granted the right to govern society, one has to presume that he also possesses the ability to choose among the various opinions that agitate his contemporary and to appreciate the various facts that may guide his judgment. Popular sovereignty and freedom of the press are therefore entirely consistent. By contrast, censorship and universal suffrage are contradictory and cannot coexist for long in the political institutions of any nation. Among the 12 million people who live in the United States, not a single one has yet proposed restricting the freedom of the